So I'm going to bring this over. You can join it wherever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and continue joining on this side because um, that way the seam is only in one area. And that's going to be actually towards the back of the little cradle. Um, and you're just going to go in and add your color, your new one. Um, try to get in the top of the chain three. I'm just trying to see where that's at. It's right here. And actually I'm going to pull it in from this side. So from the right side of your of your work facing you, you're going to push your hook in and pick up, bring up your new color. And then you're going to chain three just to bring it up so that you can have your step up there. I always like to use both strands at the beginning. There's one just to kind of lock in that, that extra loose tail there. One, two, three. And we're going to do double crochet, but we're going to do three double crochet in each double crochet, including in this um, step up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I did one. Um, you can do them now or you can do them at the end. So all I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and put the, the second and third um, chain or double crochet in here when I come back around. Okay, so for right now I'm just leaving the chain, the step up of three. We're going to go into the next double crochet and we're going to put three in there. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a wavy pattern kind of um, a wavy feel, like a frill. Um, you can do lots of fun stuff here, you know, any of your favorite lace patterns, um, uh, shell stitches, pop popcorn stitch, whatever you want to put in here, treble crochets, do whatever you like. You just make it nice and cute, and I would just continue in a pattern of three, okay? Whatever you go to, or uh, work it out. If you already know how many stitches you have all around, you can divide that into your favorite pattern and then do that, okay? Just anything that you really like. And what we're gonna do is go all the way around. I said adding three in each double crochet, and I'll come back. So this is very basic, very simple. You can do um, stripes from here, you know, um, alternate colors, all that kind of fun stuff. But I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna do this pink, and I think I'm gonna add some purple in a little bit here. But let's go ahead and put three in each stitch all the way around, and I'll come back when I'm so done. Gone all the way around, as you can see, it gets a little bit bigger because of that ruffling, but it'll straighten out in just a minute when you start doing more of it. But now you have that, and you have your little ruffle that's it's gonna wanna bend out towards the skirt area. And then when you have it in purse mode, this will all be up, okay? But for right now, I just got to the end of that round and as I said we're gonna put two back in here with the beginning chain three so in that same spot we're gonna put add two more double crochet in there okay so I'm gonna try to get in here it gets a little bit tight we're gonna add two double crochet right in there if I don't break my hook here do you I don't know if you heard that I made a sound so I'm gonna add one two more double crochet right in that same spot and then we're going to chain, um, slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to find the top of my chain three, which is right here. I'm going to slip stitch right in there. And I'm going to do something a little bit different than um, the instructions that I have in the description box. And it's a very slight difference. Okay, so I'll do that right now. So anyway, there it is. That is your first round of the skirt. Okay, and that's done. So now to do the second round, we're going to go one, two, three. And I'm also going to mention, some people like to do a step up for a double crochet, only doing two. If you like to do two and then go ahead and go into your double crochet, please do. And that's normally what I do. I've been doing three, and I don't know if you can see, it does leave kind of an area where you can kind of see that laddering. So if you do two, it gives you kind of a little tighter area so it doesn't show the laddering too much. But anyhow... What I'm going to do for this next one, I want it to look more like ruffles and it's going to be looking like ruffle on the side that's going to be folded down when the skirt is down. So what I want to do is, okay, well, let, me, let me go back. The initial thing that you're supposed to do with the bob um, instructions is to go ahead and now, after you did chain three, you're going to do one double crochet in each double crochet, okay? So in each one of these double crochets, you're going to put one and that's it. You're not going to increase anymore. You're just going to put one all around. When you get to the end, join it to the top of your chain three, you know, step up three again, go all the way around until your skirt measures about the same length as your um, little um, cradle part here. So basically it's going to be about the same. So if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rounds, you're probably going to have to do seven rounds of whatever color or whatever pattern is that you want to do here, okay? If they're the same length as the double crochet. So, um, you know, if you do something different, obviously you're going to adjust it, but you're going to want to keep do going until it's the same length as your um, little bed area. But what I'm going to do is to make it look more like ruffles, I'm going to work in the um, 
in the loops here, and I'll show you how. Um, and I can't remember if this is front or <laughs> back post because uh, I think the back is this way. So yeah, so only working in the front ones. I'm going to do a double crochet, so I'm getting ready for my double. I'm going to go to the double crochet that comes up next, and I'm going to hook into the front post. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm not going in behind it here, or however. I can't remember if that's front or back, but anyway, I'm going to go in front of it here. I'm going to pull up my loop and go ahead and do my double crochet. Okay? And again, I'm going to loop and again for that same the next one, I'm going to go right in front, pick up that next double crochet and go ahead and do my double crochet. Next one again, get in front of it. And I want to do enough so I can show you what happens. So every time we're going to go put in our double crochet, I'm going to put it in Front, okay. I'm not going. I'm not working in the loops. We're working with the posts of the double crochet that comes next, all the way around. Okay. And when we get to the end, we're just going to attach to the top of our chain three like normal. But I do want to show you what that looks like on the other side. So as I'm working, you can see it looks smooth here. But if you look on this side, you're going to have a little ruffle. Okay. So it's going to look striped basically all around. Okay. Hopefully you can kind of see that. So I'm going to continue going around and just working into picking up the front post here. Wouldn't it be cute if you did a crocodile stitch in here? Oh, that'd be so awesome. Anyway, just keep going around and it's gonna make tight little ruffles, okay? So I'll be back when I'm done with this whole okay, round. So there it is. Now I do wanna let you know, if you're doing front post double crochet like I am, it does take a little while longer to build up your, um, your rounds um, because it's shorter, okay? If you're doing regular double crochet where you go into the top of the double crochet underneath it, it's going to be longer. So, you know, this is two rows and it barely is taking up this much room. If I had done regular double crochet, it would probably be just a little bit longer, just like the rows before it. So anyway, um, so if you're doing front post double crochet like I was showing you, you're just going to take your last one. I have one more right here. It's that second double crochet that was in the same chain three space from the row before. I'm going to go right in here. Place, oh, sorry. Okay, so if you're doing regular, you're gonna place it right inside the double crochet, just like normal. But since I'm doing front post, um, I'm gonna be taking this guy. I did two of regular, I don't know why. Um, front post, I, have, I had to undo that one stitch. Sorry guys, hopefully it's not confusing. I have this last one. Oops, front post, double crochet. And then we're gonna attach that's the end of my chain and my round. So that was round two of the skirt. I'm going to attach it to the top of the um, chain three. Okay, so that's right here. And then it's always hard to fish out, of course. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't want to fight with it with you guys watching there. So I'm in that top of chain three. You're going to just slip stitch that together. Okay, so that's the end of that row. Now that's the second row and look how cute that is. It has that little extra ruffle bit, but again, if you don't have to do that, you can just um, do a regular old, you know, double crochet in each double crochet. And now that was the second row, and you're going to basically do the rest as the same as the second row. So as many rows as it takes for this skirt to be the same um, length as this area here, that's how many rows you're going to do, okay? So if you're doing regular old double crochet, you know, the normal way, you're probably going to do seven or eight rows, however many rows it took you to get to this length of the... Um, little bed, the cradle area, and so for me it's going to take a little bit more because it's short. So we're going to, again, step up three or two, whatever it is that you like to do. And again, I'm going to do front post double crochet. I'm just going to go in there. If you're not, you can just do the regular double crochet like it shows in the directions, okay? And I'm just going to continue going like this, and now it's going to add another ruffle. So it's really fun. So I'll be back when I'm all done. Um, adding all the rows. So again, you're going to continue doing basically row two until you it's the length that you need, which is basically at the base of the um, okay, cradle. So this is the end of about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six rounds of that same stitch, just the double crochet. As you can see better now, the little ripples. I think that's cute, but okay, again, you don't have to do that. You can just work into the same tops of the double crochet like you normally do, and it'll give a different look. But what I'm going to do is now switch into the purple um, um, thread here or yarn. So we're back at the beginning and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of chain three and as I do that I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring in 
the purple color because what you can do is um, just go in here and you would bring this pink one in. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and transition into adding the purple which is the next color I want to use. And let me grab that. I'm just going to bring it in and then we'll finish off the pink one when we finish it off, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a round of regular double crochet and I'm going to go ahead and put it in where you're supposed to at the top of the double crochets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and chain three to start off our one, two, three, and double crochet into the next double crochet right at the top. So I'm not going to do the uh, front post double crochet anymore. And that's basically where we're going to add our little ties. And then after this, I'm going to add a uh, scalloped edge just to make it cuter. Now you don't have to do that. You can continue with the directions from that Bob Wilson directions there, which is just continue double crocheting. Okay, so I'm going to double crochet one in each double crochet all around. Okay. And I'll be back when I'm finished with that round. Okay, I've already gone around. I'm back to the beginning of that um, round. And so we're just going to again add slip stitch to the top of your chain three. Just pull it through and pull it through the what you have in your hook there. So okay, so that um, ends that round. So now what we're going to do before we do a scalloped edge, and you can continue doing double crochet, whatever it is that you like. I am showing you the back side of the fabric. This is the front, okay, as we're working across. Um, I'm sorry, this is the back side. Okay, so as we continue working, what I'm going to do is add a single crochet edge before we do the scalloped border now, or the shell border. You can continue working on double crochet and then just end it with a single if you like, whatever it is that you want to do. So again, um, this time we're only going to step up one because it's a single crochet, and we're going to single crochet into the next double crochet. So just single crochet, not too tight, you want to just kind of leave it loose all around the border, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and do that before we do our scalloped edge. So I'm going to go all the way around and I'll be back when I'm at the end of this round. Okay, so now back at the beginning, it's hard to tell because it's so flat from the single crochet, but here's my chain one. And so what you're going to do is just take to slip stitch your round together, go into that chain one, and then um, we're going to start our scallop. Now Again, you don't have to do this. You can do a picot edge, you can just do a single crochet edge, whatever it is. But the scallop board that we're using is going to be a pattern of four plus one, so four stitches plus one. And I'm um, sorry, I'm slip stitching that. So I'm going to start off by skipping the single crochet, the first single crochet from the previous row. And um, because I just joined it here. And in this one here, what we're going to do is go ahead and put one two, three double crochet. Now you can do five, but it's going to make a really big scallop. And since this is a kind of a small project, I'm just going to do three. You're going to skip the next single crochet and then single crochet into the next one. So skip one, single crochet into the next one. Now again, we're going to skip this um, next single crochet and we're going to put three double crochet in the next one. So that's basically your pattern. Okay. One, two, three, and we're going to skip this next double crochet, I'm sorry, next single crochet, and single crochet into the next one. After you single crochet, we're going to put, skip the next single crochet, three double crochet in the next one, okay? So it's going to be a slight little kind of um, wave at the bottom, okay? So one, two, three double crochet. Skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet. Skip the next single crochet, three double crochet in the next one. So that's all you're going to do all around. One, two, three. Skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next one. Skip the next single crochet, three doubles in the next one, okay? So I'm going to continue all the way around with your basic um, shell border. 
and I'll come back when I'm done and we'll be done with the skirt. Okay, so I've come back to the beginning, um, or you know, to the end of the row, to the beginning here, and I have my last three, so skip one, and then I'm just going to attach it to the same spot where we made our first slip stitch, so I'm just going to slip stitch right in there, and that should finish it off, and all I'm going to do is um, finish it off. And like I said, the amount of rows or what you're working with, I mean, it really has to do with you know how big you wanted this to begin with anyway or where you started so as far as that there's not much you know I can say other than okay that's the end there um you know we had our base I guess that kind of stretched out as you're working with it but don't worry it'll finish out and then here's our little skirt and my little skirt ended up being one two three four five six rounds of the double crochet but in the front post double crochet and then it has the double crochet round, a single crochet round, and then the little scallop edge and that was perfect to meet it back up to the bottom of the um, base. So, you know, it just depends. I mean, it really does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the straps and put the straps in so that it gives it some form and then we'll do the top part of the cradle. Okay, so this one ended up being kind of big, guys, as far as the size of this little one. I, you can probably even get a Barbie in here, but that's because that's how large I made it. If you're making a smaller one, you know, it's going to be much smaller. So I'm going to take purple because I want to put the strap into this double crochet area and I don't really want it to change the color. So I'm going to do purple strap. So I'm going to put this to the side for right now. And all you're going to do is make them long enough that the strap can go all the way around the purse and come out the other side and then another one that goes the same direction but in the, in the opposite direction so when you pull it it's like a drawstring um, type thing so basically you're just going to chain whatever you need if you want to do a braid that's fine too but chaining is probably the easiest so what I would do is just take this and start it off of course like you always do ah. and just chain as much as you need and you can use both colors together that looks cute too but I'm just going to continue making a chain until it's long enough to go through the purse and come out the other side. So it's a, like I said, drawstring. And then you're going to make two that are alike. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have one long strand and then another one that matches it. And I'll come back and show you how to place that into your little okay, purse. So once you have your little straps ready, what you're going to do, this is the beginning. So I'm just going to fold it so that it's on the left because that's basically where we start and we go around. Just straighten out your little bag. But it's going to be hard to see. So what I would really like to do is straighten out the bottom, the crib part, and then just make sure this is in here kind of the way you need it to be. And you're going to insert the strap going from one direction all the way around and then the other one coming in from the other direction all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to start here just to kind of show you guys. Of course, you want to sew those things in, but I'm going to keep these little extras out of the way right now. And I'm going to go into that double crochet, the first double crochet area of the purple. And basically what you're going to want to do is I'm going to bring one of my straps over, which end up being about 33 inches long. And what I'm going to do is about every three. OK, so this is the very center where we started. So I'm going to go three back. One, two, three. As you can see, I have three uh, double crochets on my hook. And I'm going to bring the strap in there. And then I'm going to skip three. So one, two, three. I'm going to skip those three. And then I'm going to put my hook into the next three. One, two, three. So that you're kind of weaving it in and out every third um, double crochet. Okay? So that way when you pull it tight, it has a nice little area and it looks cute instead of just being kind of um, not really um, in the best area should I say instead of like every one it just gives it a little more thickness and looks cute that way so I skip three and I'm bringing this into the next three okay and I'm just going to do that all the way around the purse even when you get to the end here to the other side you're going to keep going all the way around until you come out the other side of the of okay, your round so once you've done that and you can pull it tight you can kind of see that the little cradles taking shape now and I just kind of pulled on one side Obviously we have lots of things to finish and then you can also finish off the ends either by um, tying them together or adding like a little heart or a little flower or something cute at the end to make it come together. So what we're going to do now is make sure that we have the inside part facing as they're exactly lined up. Oh, my daughter's waking up. And you're going to look for the middle of this area. Sorry about that. So you're looking for the middle of your little cradle and just kind of setting this up so that you have it. 
And you're gonna place some markers, okay? So let's say, right here's about the middle of my cradle, but this is gonna be a lot larger, like I said, because the way I worked it, but if you're using a smaller, you know, yarn and a smaller hook, however. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and place the marker. I'm trying to make sure that this is set up nice and level here. And basically, I'm gonna place a, mar a stitch marker here, and one of the uh, one of the stitches where we started are three. If you remember when we started the skirt, there was three um, double crochets in each stitch there. I'm just gonna place the stitch marker here, and basically right across from that, uh, it'd be like this one here. And it's just a little piece of yarn I'm just grabbing. Okay, and that's where we're gonna start and end. So now when we do our single crochets, we're gonna add single crochets to make the hood. So from the side, it looks something like this. Um, you're gonna start in that same spot. And I'm gonna use the same uh, pink that I had used before. The bubblegum pink. Bring that over, oops, sorry. And we're gonna join it with a slip stitch. And you are just working on the top of it, so you're gonna work around, okay? And I'm gonna join my Oh, I'm on the other side. Sorry guys. Bubble gum here. And just leave that stitch marker so you don't get confused later, okay? So for right now we're gonna do a slip stitch. And you're also going to single crochet in that same spot, okay? So I joined with a slip stitch and we're also gonna single crochet here. You're gonna end up putting quite a bit of stitches in that same spot. Single crochet. And you're just gonna crochet across putting a single crochet in each one of the areas where you put the three double crochets, okay? So it's basically working in the back loop there of that. There's one, two, and you'll find it once you get there. Whatever you feel comfortable working with, either there or in between them, that's fine too. Okay, and I'm just gonna single crochet in each one of these back loops that was left from the previous row when we did the single crochets. And I'm gonna single crochet all the way across, just working the same fashion until I get to the next and marker. Almost to the other side here, I just needed to put in a couple more, so there's one more spot there. And then finally where we have our marker, okay? I'm gonna leave the markers there um, because when we come back later, it can get confusing. So there's the last one. Now you're gonna chain, turn. So just chain one and turn, and we're gonna continue working just in the little single crochets that we just created, okay? So what we're gonna do now, is go ahead and um, work on the other way. And you're gonna work one single crochet and each single crochet to the end. So um, I do have a single crochet here and I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm not counting the chain one as a single crochet, okay? So we're gonna go into that same spot and then single crochet all the way across and the single crochets from the previous row, okay? And when we get to the end, we're gonna do something special here, okay? So just continue working single crochets in each of the ones that you just made from the previous row and I'll be back when I get to the other side. And as you're working it gets tighter and tighter because it's just a little hood and it's obviously a smaller stitch than you have down here so it starts becoming pretty cute, okay? Well you'll you'll see once you start working it up. So now I'm at the end and it says to work single crochet all the way to the end but then you're also going to put another single crochet right into where your stitch marker is, okay? So that's going to bring it tighter down into um, that previous row so I'm just going to go ahead and put another single crochet into that stitch marker. So I was gonna say you're gonna end up with quite a few stitches in there. That's gonna start pulling your hood in, the little hood in tight. So chain one, and we're gonna turn it. And single crochet back across to the other side. Back to the other side with my single crochets. Again, we're gonna do and all the way to the end, and then we're gonna put one in the stitch marker stitch. So right in here, we're gonna bring in the single crochet, and that just kinda of tightens it up again. So now we're gonna chain one, and turn and go back to the other side. You're gonna do that for a total of rows up to five, so I'm gonna do it three more times, okay? And when I come back, I'll have five rows completed of the single crochet <laughs> going into the end every time at the end. Okay, so just remember on uh, the end of three, four, and five to tack down to the row before it at the very end, just like we did at the beginning with the stitch marker. It's just the row before it that you're gonna tack down into, okay? So we're at the end of row five, so what I'm gonna do is you can turn it, chain one or chain one, then turn, um, chain one. And now what we're gonna do is work two, uh, single crochet, single crochet, and then do two together. So we're gonna do a decrease row. This is row number six, and so I'm gonna take single crochet into the next single crochet. 
That's one. And then to the next one, two. Sorry, my daughter's awake and I want to get this done. So now we're going to do a decrease. So take one and go into the next one, pull up, and then put your loop through all three. So that's just a single crochet decrease. Okay, if you're not sure how to do that, look it up. So again, a single crochet, single crochet in the next one. And then the next set, we're going to do a decrease. So go in, pull up your loop, go into the next one, pull up a loop, and pull through all three loops. Okay, we're going to go all the way across and doing the same thing. And this time you don't have to tack into the row before it. Just continue the pattern. And even if you get to the end and let's say you only had one crochet left instead of being able to decrease it by, you know, with a two, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It's just, you're just trying to get these things in here. So when I get to the end of this row, which is row six, we're going to have some decreases. And then in row seven, you're just going to, cha you know, turn, chain one, single crochet all the way across. Row eight, turn, chain one, single crochet all the way across, okay? So the only time you decrease is this row, si row six, and that's the same as in the instructions, okay? And row eight, as you can see, it starts curving in and making the little hood really cute. So this is row nine. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn our work. And we're going to chain one. And this time again, you're going to do a decrease row, and you're going to go ahead and single crochet one, then the next stitch. And then you're going to decrease single crochet in the next two. So pull a loop up, go into the next one, pull a loop up, and you did a s pull through all three. That's a single crochet decrease. So again, one single crochet in the next one, another single crochet in the next one, and then a decrease in the next two. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way across, again, ending at the end of the row. And then after ch uh, there's row nine, you're going to do rows 10 and 11, no decreases. Just the same thing. You're going to work one single crochet all the way to the end. Turn, chain one, single crochet all the way to the end. I'm at the end of row 11. And rows 12, 13, and 14, as it says in the instructions, are all decreased rows. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, chain one. And you're going to go ahead and work one single crochet in the next of two. So one, two, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. So one, and then pull up another loop. She heard my voice, and then pull it through. So that's all you're going to do. Again, one single crochet. Next one, a single crochet, and then decrease over the next two. And you're going to do the same thing on this row, which is row 12, row 13, and row 14, okay? And then we're just going to break off the yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back when I'm done with row uh, 14. So one, two, and again, and again, decrease over the next two. And if you're out of sequence at the end, it doesn't matter, okay? Just end with whatever you have. So like right now, I have one more single crochet I can put in. I didn't end on the two, okay? So that's fine. So I'll put in my single crochet, and I'll go ahead and turn it chain one and go ahead with the same sequence this is row 13 so one two and I'm gonna work a decrease over the next two single crochet it gets quicker because there's less and less of them of course one two actually I guess I'm gonna be here one two pull through all three and then one two so this time it did end without <laughs> crocheting single crocheting or decrease crocheting now I'm going to turn it again, chain one, and we have again one, two, and then we're going to decrease, this is row 14, sorry row 13, and then one, I know mama, she's like we are ready, she's ready, one, two, and then we're going to decrease the last two. Okay, and this is where we end it. Um, there's still quite a bit of a little bit of an area here and it says to break it off at this point but since my hood is a little bit larger I'm gonna continue decreasing one more round so it can get a little bit tighter because I don't like the way it's, it's still too wide for me because of the size of the yarn that I use and everything else so I'm gonna do one more to bring the little hood into a little bit tighter so I'm gonna do one more row which I'll have 14 okay, back up so you can kind of see it a lot better it looks really messy right now poor thing I took the stitch markers out because we don't need those anymore but what you're gonna do now is go ahead and go around the whole thing and crochet uh, single crochet or whatever edging you want to put that you think is cute I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet and that's all I'm gonna do but um, I'm gonna use the purple I think so hopefully that'll look good Sorry, it's kind of loud in here. Like I said, my daughter woke up and now, you know, I just have her here. So I'm going to join it here in the crux of where the cradle and the little hood meet because um, I kind of want to, I'm going to put some little flowers or something decorative there anyway, so I'm going to cover it up. So that's where I'm going to start mine. So I'm just going to attach my, my purple <laughs> yarn there and slip stitch it. 
And that slip stitch is pretty big, otherwise I would also chain one there, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So I'm just going to do the slip stitch, but if you need to chain one, chain one. And I'm going to do my first single crochet there. So single crochet there, and then I'm going to bring over and, and just evenly single crochet up the edge of the hood. Um, all the way down across, and then you're going to single crochet in each of the the um, loops that we pretty much had those three coming out of. They were the same ones that we picked up when we picked up our hood, but uh, around the whole edge. So I'm going to go around the whole hood, around this edge, and come back at the end here, okay? And I'm going to finish it off, okay, and I'll be back. I want to show you from this angle so you have a better idea of what we just did. So that's it. Um, and then that little, you know, going around the edge really brings it together. And look how cute with the little ruffles. I really like that. So you want to weave in all the ends, of course, any of those little ends you have left over. Um, I have not weaved in the second strap yet, but what I'm going to do is probably make like a cute little flower and put it at the end of this here so it, it's more decorative than just tying them together. But you can just tie them together, and that would be the one strap. And then the other strap, of course, you weave it in the other direction so the, you know, the ends are going to be back here. And then when the purse is uh, a purse, all you're going to do is flip it inside out. So let me do that, and I'll show you what that looks like. But basically, you're just going to push all this stuff in. And um, let me do that off camera, though, so I can put this down and know it's a purse. And I kind of like the way I made it here because it ends up looking like a little cupcake. And then the other strap is, gonna, of course, going to go around the other side, and it'll be sticking out this side. So there it is, and your daughter or whoever, they can put their little um, doll in there, and you can carry other little things in there along with it. And... Um, that's it. So hopefully with the instructions that you guys have um, printed out and kind of some of the modifications I made, you can make a cute little purse. You can also make it in a round situation instead of being the, you know, the length that we did at the beginning, like an oval, you can make it round and you can make it a little cupcake. And I do have a pattern for that. If you guys want to see that, I'll definitely make it. It's much easier. This took about two hours to make, so it doesn't take that long, guys. So um, try it out. Try it with different weights of fabric or yarn with different hook sizes. It doesn't matter because it's just a... You know, to me, I don't swatch anything out because there's no reason to, but if you want to do that, you can definitely do that. Um, and then you can make like a little blanket to go along with it. I would just make a little blanket that coordinates with the pink or the purple, whatever colors you're using, you know, double crochet it so it's easy, kind of like a swatch, make it maybe 4x4 four four or 4x5, four put a little cre um, edging on it and put it in there with it, and there you go. So I'll have some pictures for you guys. If you have any questions, please ask. My daughter is just chit-chatting over there in her walker. She's having a good time. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.